Hey guys, Loda Tech here, back with another video. So, A Res Game decided to send me one of their power supplies, and looking at the reviews on Amazon seems pretty promising. So, as it says in the, the title, is this the best budget power supply? Let's find out. So, as I, as you can see, this is my PC build right here. Let me just give you an update from my previous uh, video watchers. So, lately, I've been like inactive for a couple of months now. And unfortunately, it's because of the situation with COVID and online learning and everything. And I've also been busy at my job. So I haven't been able to update you guys. Sorry about that. Hopefully, you know, I could become more frequent now. So this was my build before. RTX 2070 Super, Ryzen 3600, Trident Z RGB RAM, which I swapped out from my Rip Jaws, which wasn't compatible with XMP. And the fans are the master liquid uh, from... Uh, cooler master so this one does like rgb they released the argb model but you know i'll have that linked in the bio this is the cooler master pump as well and i also have two more of the argb fans no, the regular rgb fans from uh, cooler master and on the other side i'm running stock uh, cooler master fans so this is like an intake so i have fans two fans inside here it's taking it in and goes towards the back so you know i just like that's just a quick recap of my system so, you know, let's get into the power supply. So I'll just show you the link on Amazon right here. As you can see, this power supply goes for $54.99 and the reviews seem pretty positive. So let's just scroll along, take a look. You know, this is affordable, fully working. Yeah, let's even take a look at the four star review. All right. Even then, see, like it's a budget, uh, budget price and it's pretty good. So yeah, let's unbox this and check out what's inside. All right. So you open up the box towards the bottom right here. Yeah, doing this one hand is actually on the top, my bad. So you open this up. All right, all right. All right, so I opened up this product. Let's just check out what's inside. So you get this uh, instruction manual. So as I mentioned, this is, as I forgot to mention, this is actually 650 watt power supply. 80 plus bronze you know it's not it's pretty cool but it's not like it's not fully modular however i believe the cables are actually uh black sleeve so you know that's a plus this is the power supply cable we got the cables that are attached to it right here you know like yeah you do see it's all black cables the thing is as you can see i have a i have a i have a modu semi-modular power supply uh from you know the got the name but it's the brand from uh micro center so yeah you, see, you can see i have it right here but it has mustard and ketchup and mustard cables it is sleeved though but you know it might be semi-modular but it doesn't have the beauty that you know black cables have so you know it comes in a pretty good package you know packaged well let's take a look what's inside if i can open this up with one hand that is all right well, it also comes with zip ties for cable management and also the screws. Pretty neat. All right, guys. So, yeah, you just have to open it up with a scissor. The supply, power supply is right here. My bad. This is quite difficult one-handed. So, you know, it comes, it looks pretty cool. Like for a, like a, a non-modular power supply, you know, it's pretty neat because most of these are ketchup and mustard. And this one's like, you know, sleeved and all that and also has black endings. And there's actually a quite good amount of weight to it. So, you know, it's not one of those knockoff, you know, AliExpress power supplies that you see on like, let's say Linus Tech Tips where they're making like a Wish PC. So, you know, here's the specs if you guys want to look at it. So, you know, it's not bad. Here's the inside. And, you know, overall it looks like it's pretty good quality. So, yeah, let's see what else is in the box right here. Oh, so they give you a quick inspection tool. So, oh, they give you jumper cable. That's pretty cool. So if you want to test it, the power slide so the supply is working. You just like stick it in with this adapter. And that's pretty cool. So you don't got to look around for any like, you know, paper clips or anything to jump your power supply. Great. All right, let's just set this box aside. Look at the power supply. Right, all right. All right, all right. As you can see, I don't really have a monitor right now because I sold my old one. Uh, I had a 4K 60 hertz, and you know, like I thought resolution would be better, but you know, honestly, 1440p with like 165 hertz, 
is probably good enough. So let me just open this up and I'll show you guys how long the cable is. All right, so before we move on to the power supply, let me just talk about my monitor that just came in. So this is the Gigabyte G32QC, and this is a 32 inch curved uh, VA panel, but it has around like one milliseconds of response time. Although, you know, it's not gonna be as fast as a TN panel, you know, it's pretty decent for the price. And let me just be honest with you, compared to 4K 60 Hertz, uh, 1440p 165 Hertz is a day and night difference. And I believe you don't really need 4K when you're up that close. So, you know, it looks pretty good. And let's just get onto the power supply and I will have the monitor linked in the description. So this is what we got right here. This is the CPU headers right here. Got the regular connectors. This is gonna be the, it's gonna be like the headers for like the PSU, not the PSU, the GPU and all that. Then we got the main cable. This is gonna be for the, you know, the motherboard connection, uh, 12 ATX. And these are the SATA cables. So there's around like uh, one, two, three SATA here. So that's gonna be around, there's like three Molexes and an extra fan header here in case you wanna plug in a fan directly. And it also comes with the three additional uh, SATA. So that'll be six in total. All right, so in the next one, we're gonna pick up this testing tool right here and test it out. You know, we'll follow through the instructions and we'll see if the power supply is working. Once we do that, we'll just hook it up to the PC and we're gonna see how everything checks out and how it works and all that. All right, so we're just gonna be testing out this uh, power supply testing tool right here. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You plug in the AC adapter, which I already did. Then you just connect up this right here to this right here. So I'm just, uh, you know, I put it under the box so I could do it one-handed. And what you do is you just go in there, line it up. Then once you line it up, just click it in. And so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna flip the power switch and see if the fan starts spinning. And look, the fan's spinning right here. So you know, this is good to go, so I'm gonna hook it up to my computer and show you how, how it's working with my PC. All right, as you guys can see, I hooked everything up. I'm just doing it like this because it's gonna be temporary. I'm gonna be using my current GPU, see, PSU, I mean. But like, I might use this for a future build or something like that. But you know, I hooked up my CPU headers, my main ATX header. I got my GPU headers on, so you know, let's just press start and see how it goes. So I'm gonna flip the power switch, power on, perfect. So everything is on, the cooler's running and all that, the RAM's lighting up, and yeah, boot screen right here. So let's see if it boots up. You know, then we're gonna run some gameplay, so we'll just do like, I'll just like move around, drive a vehicle in Warzone, and you know, see how it's acting up and see if it's, you know, not bottlenecking or anything. It's gonna wait for my keyboard to connect up. All right, hold up. Yeah, so we're in here. And let's go into Modern Warfare. And once this boots up, we're gonna test it out to see how it's running. So I'll just show you again, once again, so it's hooked up. My uh, previous, uh, C previous PSU uh, cables are disconnected. So, you know, once we boot up, I'll just show you guys, you know, just driving around, see how it handles and everything. And, you know, does it have any issues with the power supply? All right, so this is a game of Warzone Plunder. And I'm just gonna show you guys how it's performing with the power supply. So, so far I've been getting the same performance. You know, everything's good. I haven't had any like, you know, cheaper power supplies have issues where they have like power surges or, you know, it's not actually 650 watts. But this power supply has been performing amazing. And for $54 is a great deal. So yeah, let's just drop in here. And as you can see, everything's fine. You know, explosives look good. I just killed myself, but you know, that's that's how I be playing usually. I'm not that good at this game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any suggestions or if you guys like, you know, had any comments for future videos, drop it down and let me know. And also, if you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, also comment down and say why. And, you know, a sub would be appreciated. I'm trying to grow my channel, you know, post better content. I have been, like, you know, haven't been that active, but trying to get there. And it's actually my first, you know, uh, sponsored product review. So that's really good, even though I have, like, a low amount of subscribers. Hopefully, we could grow. I'm hoping for, like, a 1,000 subs by, like, next year. And, you know, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe during these times. Thanks for watching Loaded Tech.